These are four by fours and we use these for the legs, obviously. And everything is cedar, so it should hold, hold up really well. It smells amazing too. Um, four by fours, we got, oh gosh, I think eight footers. And I wanted it about 40 inches tall, so we just figured out that size. These are one by fours of the cedar too. So we just frame this out, nothing fancy, no mitered corners, just figured out the width that we wanted of the potting bench and then added the width of this piece of cedar. And that's how we did it. You can see, I mean, it's so basic. I mean, we just screwed it into the um, legs. It smells so good, I love it. Uh, the bottom is just this, and this acted as our kind of bench it, or, you know, framing and we just screwed, figured out the, the length, and then screwed these in to the top of this. I did not pre-drill like I should have, um, so some of these split, but I can always replace those, or, you know what, I really, it doesn't bother me, so, whatever. Um, might bother you, but it doesn't bother me. That's how I roll. But you can see the side. Uh, it's wet, because I just rinsed all the sawdust off the deck. Um, but that's the side, so that's how we just kind of framed it out. We left this open, just Dad thought maybe I could just hang things in there, um, put some other hooks in there, something like that. Um, put pots kind of resting in there, so I'll have to play around with it and see what I want to do with that. And then you can see underneath that we framed the... I mean, you don't have to do this, but it was just an extra kind of step we took that I'm glad that we did. We just stuck the, you know pieces up inside there before we put the top on and uh, screwed it into the sides. So that is that part. And then the top is just the boards. I wanted it two feet deep. So we just figured out these are one by six um, cedar boards. And we just figured out how many we needed. I wanted more of a lip on the front than the back. So. Uh, you just kind of have to figure out your spacing. Obviously, I put less spacing between them on the top because I'd like to use this for entertaining as well. Um, and like it, you can tell here, they're not perfect. I mean, this needs to be screwed in a little bit more and it should pull that down a little bit. But um, I'm hoping that I'm showing you the right thing. So that's about it. That is the table. And we couldn't be more pleased with how it came out. Um, and obviously you can see the hooks there. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I thought they'd be fun because they look like the Pottery Barn version. And that's it.